Look at these cute baby animals. You will have immediately observed how cute and fluffy they are. But you will also have noticed that they are different. They vary. Yes, some are puppies and some are kittens. There is a great deal of variation between species, but also there is variation within a species. One puppy is fluffier than the other. They have different color fur and the kittens have different colored eyes. Variation is the differences in the characteristics of individuals in a population. It can be due to genetics, the environment, or a combination of both. Let's start with genetics. Different members of a population have different DNA, unless they are identical twins. This means they have different versions of genes called alleles, and these alleles give rise to different characteristics. For example, on the eye color gene, this kitten has an allele for blue eye color, whereas this kitten has an allele for brown eye color. If the species reproduce by sexual reproduction, the random mixing of alleles from both parents result in extensive genetic variation within a population of a species. This means that some individuals are better adapted to their environment than others, allowing natural selection to take place. For example, in a population of rats, some will either have better eyesight than others. These will be able to avoid being eaten by predators, so are more likely to survive to reproduce and pass on this advantage to their offspring. If you want to learn more about natural selection, watch this video. Some examples of variation in humans that are controlled by genes include eye color and blood group. If you have a blood group A, it's because you have the alleles for this characteristic. This is genetic variation, and it is something that you were born with, and nothing can change it. Some variation is due to the environment or lifestyle of the organisms. Examples in humans are hair length. It depends on how short you decide to cut it, your accent, as this is linked to where you live, and if you have any piercings, tattoos, or scars. These are characteristics that you acquire throughout your life. Many characteristics are due to a combination of both genetics and the environment. For example, the height a person can grow to is determined by genetics. Tall parents tend to produce tall children. However, a person will not grow to their potential height unless they eat a healthy, balanced diet. Also, there is some debate on how much intelligence is due to genetics or the quality of education a person receives. Is intelligence more due to nature or nurture? To answer these questions, scientists can do experiments using identical twins. If the characteristic in both twins is the same, then it is most likely due to genetics. If it is different, then the environment has played an important role. For example, identical twins will have the same eye color, as this is only due to genetics, but they will have different personalities, talents, likes and dislikes, and this shows that these are also influenced by the environment. So, in this video, we learn about variation and how it can be controlled by genetics, the environment, or sometimes both. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.